Uh, is it okay if the founder doesn't understand every aspect of every business? Getting the success of his business by his understanding of certain business areas, that's not a very scalable business. What happened one day was JWT, Diageo uh, consolidated their entire business with JWT and that led to a 3 lakh rupee loss. I had already spent off all my savings from the estates. I had about 6 months of runway before the business would you know, get far. That's the fun part because there's a creative side, there's a technology side, there's a weaving in with influencers, there's a media side. I don't think there's a more exciting time in this business. There was a RSP that is a podcast which was for the Ministry of Tourism. And we were really rallying for that tender. We had also figured out our economics. We really thought we'd be the lowest bidder. Kaam bhoor badiya tha. Pitch bhoor badiya tha. Everybody in the team loved our work. And then, Elvan pe amit, Harvard. And that created a network for me for business like nothing else. We also have agencies that are actually business consultants, mm-hmm. right? Talent agency mein kya hota hai is that the model is in the industry ka that you you either get paid for the strategy or you get paid for the execution. Mm-hmm. As consultancies, you'll see you you get paid for the consultancy, right? Right? Uh, and therefore, consultancies are very smart in that sense. Mm-hmm. You know, they get paid for the consultancy, and they have five companies who can help get the get the work executed, or right. they acquire companies that can get things executed. Mm-hmm. Right? But agencies, we go and pitch ourselves as consultants and yes. also calm yes. Right? But I think all said and done, you know, when Harsh was speaking about making money, like we are in this business and we should we should make money. Absolutely, we are in this business and we should make money and we should get our worth. I mean, as talent, we should go to where we are worth the most. Most appreciated. Yeah. Most appreciated worth. Right? Does that mean, but, sorry, does that mean that you should be niche specific? Being niche definitely helps you get a 20 to 25 percent higher premium. Okay. Okay, no two ways around okay. it. So therefore you'll also see agencies pivoting to super specialize in certain, you know, healthcare area, family retail area. They super specialize in this because that allows them to pitch themselves as niche and get gives you that curve. Also the learning curve from the founder to all the way to the team, kidney industry sikhasate, yeah, industry sikhasate. See, I mean AI is a man, what could Kafi hmm. hatta automate hoke hai. Right? Like, for example, you have 4, 5 years, 10 years of learning. There is a way to put that into machine and create a, you know, a decent output nice. from the learning side. Right? So, pehle kafi human capital intensive tha. training and all of that was like, you know, who, what took away maximum amount of your time and energy in running a business like this? But being able to leverage technology now in the right way. Can solve that problem. I think that. I'm going to come back to that. Yeah. The AI part. Yeah. So it will help solve that problem. Yeah. So the back, back engineer is understanding the business and pitch yourself as per what the business requires and not that you are offering a 10,000 rupees. Right? That's. Right. 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 So, so yeah, that's what. So, can everybody understand every kind of business? Like maybe the founders can, maybe somebody in the team can. But, I mean, like you said, there are strategies separate consultant for a reason. Like everybody can't understand everything. Like for, for me, I found myself now being able to becoming a customer of multiple businesses. I understand multiple businesses and from a consumer point of view and running an agency. But I'm most comfortable with hotels, restaurants, spas, you know, the whole hospitality gamut. So is it uh, is it okay if the founder doesn't understand every aspect of every business and he can still have multiple listing or he should what should he do? Absolutely. <laughs> Meaning if the founder is uh, Betting the success of his business by his understanding of certain business areas, that's not a very scalable business. Because then you are required for all of this stuff. Right. So when clients keep asking for me in the room, I'm like, okay, that's a red flag for me. Because you're coming here to buy my agency, you know, to be part of the agency and absolutely not my time. My time is, I am I'm a specialist of running the agency, not your business. My people are good at running your business. And I, of course, have niches in which I, I do a fabulous job out there. Um, so we do pick up certain areas of industry and then try to develop capabilities around it. But yeah, you don't limit yourself to any part of it. And from your earlier question, I think we don't price ourselves basis what, you know, that guy's business uh, is driving. Like, so if his business is driving way more, are we getting a chunk of that? That doesn't happen at scale. Uh, because uh, your price at what you know your, you've got multiple customers so they kind of know sure. what you're pricing at. But the the lens that we use is that either go to larger businesses because where there's more money, there's more money to make. Yeah. 
or go to businesses which are way more dependent on digital marketing or advertising, which is like FMCG, right. those kind of businesses, or auto, which are very dependent on those. And they have a large portion of their spends on those. So extraction out there is going to be significantly more than you're looking at. But uh, having, it's absolutely important, uh, you know, uh, early in the industry, everyone just became a master of their craft. Yeah. When you want to scale beyond a particular part, you have to become a master of your client's business. So you pick up those areas uh, and you get got paid for it. But you can't limit yourself with what you're about. With the founder, understand. Because how many, how many brands will you give yourself? That's, that's, that's a good point. Especially for me, that's a good point. So tell us any one story of your own, like you're a great client, you don't need to mention the clients. Like sometimes you rally up the team and just engage your thing. So the first few years I was a serial entrepreneur. But I was a big business. So sorry, I'm going to talk about your past month. I'm going to talk about your past month. Good looking guy. I'm going to talk about your past month. 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 So I think not that young. Anymore. The first few years I was a serial entrepreneur, you know, in that, in that zone where the great idea will suddenly lead to great success. So uh-huh. I start off one thing, right. and I start our energy management business, and I started a 3D printing business. Five years in, I had three businesses, absolutely making no money. Uh, no really money, but I would tell people I am a you know, entrepreneur, I'm a serial entrepreneur, 30 years old. I left the $100,000. Six years. Huh? Six years. Yeah, about six and a half years. That day we have been using entrepreneur and I come from the data, I am the businessman. Uh, no, it had turned to entrepreneur by then. Okay. And uh, I left a hundred thousand dollar job in the US which I had at 25. Because I got so confident. Uh, so now nice you know, in the US? Uh, in LA. Oh nice. So LA at that age. Great weather. Yeah, yeah, no, man. You don't know what you do with 50, 60 lives. I don't take that job today. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> And anyways, five years in, uh, we're running this business doing about 10 k month or revenue every month. And we had one last client, we used to contribute to about 20% of our revenue, it's called Black Dog from, uh, from the Diageo. And uh, what happened one day was, just like how network agencies go, JWT, uh, Diageo consolidated their entire business oh. with JWT. Yeah. And uh, while the clients were super happy with us, we find out. That. And that led to a 3 lakh rupee loss. So I was breaking even. And I would have started losing three lakhs a month. No, I didn't have any. I have few months. So it's okay. I'd already spent off all my savings from the savings yeah. and, and I had about six months of runway before the business would, you know, get fucked. Uh, we didn't take that off. <laughs> Whoa, that's cool. So I, I went down, I was really upset. I, I went and I, I called up my wife. Uh, she didn't know about this. So she came down, she's my co-founder. And I just needed a shoulder to cry on. Oh. And instead, she's like, what the fuck is wrong with you? You are running three businesses, getting nowhere in life while big people are out there building massive businesses, selling their companies, doing whatever that's out there. Yeah, you really need to focus and wake up. So instead of you know getting my shoulder, shoulder to cry on, I got a wake up call. Uh, two weeks later, I shut down the other two businesses. Uh, and I decided that day that I'm going to learn everything that there is to know about this industry. That was the wake up call for me. I love that story. Yeah, I had a similar story. My first ever client called uh, Chandigarh Hotel, sixty thousand a month, maybe two thousand nine. Wow! And uh, I called up a friend of mine who was a data consultant. Now she's a data guru. I said, you know what? I had built this thing on my own, and nobody details to me. But guess what? They said sixty thousand per month thing is right? humiliated. So I said, listen, to me, that nobody knows who you are, and they haven't seen the results. If a brand like that is coming, but passes they give you the camera. So then you meet people to you know show you the results sometimes. Yeah, yeah. And so that was my first time. Second time the same one for shelter, we got to sixty thousand, sixty seven thousand a month. And I realized that put in a So I realized that put is not going to go beyond sixty seventy a month. And I need four libraries to be able to think in what I'm going to do on this network. So the only way would be forty fifty thousand per hotel and go for a chain. Then the third month, the first client was power hotels. And we got power hotels for four libraries. Oh wow! And, In 2009. Uh, 2009. Yeah, that, that was too <laughs> much money. Yeah, 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 yeah. So I got everything documented, all of that. So 
January happened, it was a one year more back. Every time the review would happen in the cabinet, I mean, I guess it is. There was no agency president to say, what is this? So it was used to be, you know, like a lot more, a lot of that, you know, like, I mean, from their experience, you know, you have to give value, you have to give more 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 value, you know, like, okay, so you have to give more value, you have to give more value. Gentlemen said, good, very good. So I said, so give me a rating system, which we still have, for a nine star rating. इस महीने ये कर दे There was a um, RFP that we were going after. Interestingly, it was uh, for the Ministry of uh, Tourism. Right. Okay. And you should have collaborated. Ah, but I mean, some lagar bhi hui thi tabe. And we were really uh, rallying for that uh, endeavor. We did also, you know, figure out our economics, and we really thought we'll be the lowest bidder. Kam bhot badiya tha, pitch bhot badiya gaya. Everybody in the room loved our work, you know. So on and so forth, and then uh, Elwar pe hamne haal gaye, and I think it was one month, and it was something that would have taken us to the next orbit of our of business, course. right? I mean, two hundred fifty crore ka. Oh really? Yeah, yeah, it was two hundred fifty crore top line, you know. That's what we were going for. Yeah, it's, it's RFP one year, two hundred fifty crore. I mean, it's always the same thing. And we qualified on all parameters. Our uh, RFP qualification bhi hamara ho gaya tha pura. So we were really there. So. बहुत हार्ड वर्क हो गया सो आई एम अ बिजनेस कोच आई वेंट टू आई थिंक आई वाज आई आई सेड आई जस्ट फील लाइक मतलब वो सपना टूट जाता है ना यू जस्ट डोंट नो व्हाट टू डू आफ्टर दैट राइट सो बट देन ही गेव मी अ ही सेड सो व्हाट सो आई सेड सो व्हाट आई एम रियली हार्ड वर्क आई एम सैड अबाउट दिस सो ही सेड यू नो व्हाई यू आर सैड एंड आई आई डोंट गेट इट फॉर अ लॉन्ग टाइम व्हाट ही सेड ही सेड यू नो व्हाई यू आर सैड ही सेड व्हाट ही सेड बिकॉज़ यू लॉस्ट इन योर माइंड You think you've lost it, and therefore you're sad. Stop thinking that you've lost it. I mean, ah, you lost it. They send me an email. That's a document. Yes, <laughs> right. But you know, after that, I went on to become a volunteer of the advisory board on the Ministry of Tourism. Lovely. Okay, because they loved what we did. Right. They invited us to be on the board, and that created a network for me for business like nothing else. Interesting. Right, and then we won the Maharashtra Tourism Tender and stuff like that. Right, so oh, that's that, that little it. yeah, like, <laughs> you know, just the context change. You think you're lost in a trail for your sad. Now see what you can get out of this. Ah, oh, lovely. I like which that. Is, which is, I think, quite, 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 a, quite an amazing uh, feedback and learning that I have. Did I'm sure you share this with a lot of your team members? Of course. Yeah, yeah this is the story. I mean, the effort never. See, I think universe like law. Mm. Effort never goes waste. Mm. Okay, you think you need this for the effort that you. Yeah. But trust in problems. Yeah. But the same effort you get something else. Hundred percent. Ah, no, no. I get it. I totally get it. ये है but कहाँ से आएगा आपको नहीं पता. And uh, like you said, Rohit Singh कोई फायदा नहीं है. वो coach like you know in, in the universe also he called the coach so yeah coach को match के बाद बात करना. अब ये सोच सुने का भी. So we're just sharing stories of successes or whatever you know heartbreaks or failures you went through. Should I have a winning story from now? No. Next one from outside. One more. <laughs> <laughs> बता हाँ नो बट स्टोरी लाइक समटाइम वी रैली ट्रूप्स एंड से जाते हैं कुछ करते हैं कभी हुआ कभी नहीं हुआ एनी स्टोरी आई यू कैन आल्सो एनीबॉडी स्टोरी ऑफ ऑफ विनिंग सम विन लूजिंग आई आई एंजॉयड यू नो दिस वन ऑलवेज आई लाइक टू पुश द टीम्स creatively so two areas if you can push the limit on the creative or the technology side so one of the wins uh, that i really enjoyed was something we pitched proactively and uh, even produced proactively at our cost for mumbai police so we had put on dashera we had put a ravan uh, you know we had pitched made this film one of the creatives had put a nice film that you have ravan has 10 heads and most people don't wear a helmet so helmet incidents are you know people people losing their lives due to not wearing a helmet is very very high so how do you instill that message to people across the country with partnering with a platform like mumbai police uh, which is very very active on social media uh, how do you work with them on that so we wrote a nice film where you have a ravan getting ready and he is going on the road on his bike 
without a helmet and he sees a guy who's not worn a helmet and the guy is ravan is looking at the guy saying guy like so there is this little you know tension between them and he is like are murkh mere 10 sir hai tere kitne and it just ends with wear a helmet oh, nice. so it's like uh, you know just creatively edgy work really gives me a satisfaction uh, and you know whenever we get the opportunity to do work with clients yeah. etc so that kind of work is fun uh, then now we are i think as a uh, setup we have now got the you know most of the things last 8 years we have worked hard now we are reading for our next phase of growth so uh, almost some rough, roughly 1200 people in our team is there and we have now uh, you know good engine with respect to attrition levels under control growth levels under uh, predictable you know collection cycles strong so thoda wo sab kar rahe abhi next phase mein uh, we will have to really push the limit on uh, you know making sure that globally we are seen and recognized as a strong player uh, creatively and tech wise so that's what we are focusing on lovely i like that uh, see i am a huge biscuit fan स्टाफ and you can do really good strong tech enabled stuff so one of the customers we work for they are uh, they sell large cloud based enterprise so for that kind of a business hyper personalization is really important so you know this whole narrative around first party data hyper personalization so technology platform that we have been able to string together using a uh, multiple tools for them is uh, each sale is like a uh, almost a 3 billion a 3 million dollar sale each sale so therefore 3 million 3 million so uh, you basically have to be able to really hyper personalize to that customer so uh, let's say uh, and this is a customer which sells infrastructure on cloud so there the tech platform which is put together enables you to hyper personalize at very very deep level so let's say you're coming from a company like uh, a boeing then when you land on the website it says you know it only puts the white papers from aviation nice. you because you got a clear bit integration which talks about which ip you're coming from which is mapped to which company you're coming from uh, if you don't have company then you have region and if you have first party data then it's further sharpened to your company your role so you know that's the fun part because there's a creative side there's a technology side there's a weaving in with influencers there's a media side i don't think there's a more exciting time in this business oh, i love it i love what you said so does having a 3 million dollar product allow you to have because it's a it's a you know like you can there you can uh, yeah. of course the acquisition could be 5000 dollars correct so does that way more yeah yeah yeah, yeah. I'm as you say, it's a B two B client. Yeah, it's not a three million dollar product. Three huh. million dollar sale. Enterprise yeah, enterprise sale. Yeah. yeah, but still, no five thousand dollars. Dollar they need for the acquisition of a company. Way more. Way more. Yeah. Just, just think of it like a yeah. high end uh, yeah. flat selling. Yeah. yeah. Be flat selling. Yeah. Ready to pay na two to five percent. Yeah, your uh, then your chatbot can also be very personalized because you have you're talking to that person. And uh, interestingly, lot of this data then goes to the sales teams also because the sales team knows that which company people visited more, which company people engaged more, which company people downloaded what white paper. So the linkage between digital main sales, the ability to build brand, you know, lots of years back they were talking about is the CMO's role relevant. Right. And so a lot of companies have now, you know, I see in companies CMIO or CMDO or CDMO. So you have now built the companies are now building that. Yeah, like you basically tie the dots in digital or information along with marketing. So you build brand, you build business, link with the sales. That's the fun part. So you know, in a project like with these kind of projects, many of you are doing these kind of projects. Does that allow for a longer client retention because it's easier? Yeah, hundred percent. Because you are see anything with technology, if you integrate inside the business, firstly to you know change technology systems yeah. is very difficult for right. companies. Right. Now that's a bigger responsibility on the service provider more than anything else sure. because if you have to integrate inside, you have to take every step very carefully. Mm-hmm. So gone are the days everybody has a first party data pool, everybody has a CDM, CDP. 
all of that everybody has so now if you want to change and you want to come in a that's difficult b if you come in and you have to be very very measured with your steps once you're in unless you really mess up you don't want they don't want to yeah, change you also yeah that yeah, yeah, makes sense so this shifting gears a bit you know role of we start with you viraj role of personal branding in uh, rental agency okay best personal brand viraj yeah. Just, you you just uh, please show in this video all Viraj's crazy tweets you know two <laughs> three I, I know I, I know which ones to show no so I mean I didn't know or I I never preempted uh, tweeting or you know being active on social media in order to build a personal brand that would benefit the agency I was just tweeting for fun always because back in the day uh, it's very interesting story. the reason i met my co-founder also was actually there's an involvement of karan here uh, so karan his brother in law who's got yes. back from africa yet yeah. oh, he's back he's back yeah and he was in joining yeah. at uh, yeah so he, had, I, so he had studied, it was good life back then he had come to our college Hi guys, this is Davi. I hope you are enjoying watching this video. When we showed us a break here, just to let you know that there are three ways to get in touch with us. Number one, there's a WhatsApp number over here. Click on the WhatsApp number, somebody from my team will get in touch with you. Second, there is a link in the description where you can fill up a form, tell us about your business challenges, and somebody from my team will get back. And third, you can email me and my team directly and tell us about your business challenges. So there are multiple ways of getting in touch with us so that we can help you. to be able to overcome your entrepreneurship agency founder and coaching challenges enjoy watching this video continue or off by for now so he got a mail and he's like hey we need to sell some courses in the college can you come in and uh, ranveer wanted two first year three two three first year students from our batch um he was two years my uh, my senior in college so he didn't know anyone he only knew me because i met him at the freshers party etc he was hosting i was one of the participants this is how many years ago 2013 okay i think 2013 yeah mm-hmm. and that's how we met and uh, and we basically went back to my facebook profile and he saw me put up a lot of facebook statuses uh, and i was talking about like sports and politics and various things and he's like oh, what kind of guy talks about stuff like this in the first year of college So he's like this guy looks cool let me write to him because i need two three interns who can do this job for free mm-hmm. for a certificate <laughs> so that's did he start the message with hey bro yeah yeah something <laughs> yeah hey bro only i think it was so that's how we met and then um, basically i met ranvi actually through karan uh, we interned together on the first project and that's how i continued uh, my journey i was like okay now facebook isn't working twitter is working let's start tweeting out stuff and things just got picked up honestly or you know also i have the benefit of being around already famous people and also that was another part of the journey by i was being seen in uh, multiple places or vlogs or you know instagram videos etc because we were representing so many other people and we had a smaller team so in many places i had to go to a lot of these events so i w- i was there effectively that guy you see in like a lot of like upcoming of famous people's photos and you just don't know who the hell this guy is <laughs> so because of that funny the worry of yeah you can still yeah you can still yeah actually dig it i actually dug into the profile to see yeah 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 absolutely so it was just that when uh, people got curious and you know we came out and because for the first 2 3 years uh, i never branded the company we didn't have a website because i was always too shy about the fact ki kya bol do matlab hum kya kaam kar rahe so i i never marketed us it was just through the network what we built and then i was always of the thought that once we do something we will start doing a marketing pr etc etc so i feel like personal branding now is like super important um ab elon musk kar raha hai uske companies ke liye to shayad hame karna hi chahiye ki us us like through his tweets of he is able to sell like so many um, yeah. you know tesla cars honestly without going to any mainstream media uh, to do any kind of press um, there is some impact in um, having a personal brand but it's also very thin line between you know one of his tweets also um you know gets his stock down for sure. his company significantly 
So the question also is that where do you draw the line in personal branding? How much of your opinion impacts the company beyond a point if right. you're a bigger organization? There's just so many people that get impacted. Um, there's so many people you have to be answerable to also. So it it does help from a lens that it can help you get more business, more um, you know, opens more doors for you. Team also it helps, Arisha. Yeah, it helps. Yeah, that's one of the key factors. It helps with hiring a fair bit. Um, you know, we were really looking for some solid sales folks to get on uh, our team. And when I put up a LinkedIn post, email पे ज़्यादा queries अच्छी नहीं आई क्योंकि उसपे सब अभी भी जिनको glamour चाहिए business का वो आते हैं but a lot of people that I knew from my personal network that I worked with who are probably in other organizations or doing something else they reached out that hey you know what we'd we'd love to try this out so the more people you can also reach out to I feel like the less dependent you become on other sources like you know you probably don't need to hire more PR uh, companies or HR companies or you know etc etc you get you build funnels for yourself for all kinds of things through the personal brand so that's where it matters nice. nice what about you अभी हम लोग सब अभी आ रहे हैं कि शो पे आए हैं। We all care। Oh yeah। Net net। हाँ। So we all care। Yeah। This is the this is the budding। I see the budding on his feet everywhere। Yeah I can see that। And he is a great job of branding himself। Absolutely। Without branding himself। Thank you। Yeah yeah। Before I got into this agency business, this is the thing to buy from my agency वो नहीं है। My problem is with my upbringing। Okay I come from a Tamram family। जहाँ पे you're supposed to undersell everything, yeah. okay? So all my, I started a marketing company, but I until today have only believed that यार बात नहीं करना है, client में किया बात नहीं करना है, case study काम से word of mouth हो गया हो जाए। सोमिया बहुत अच्छे presentation देती है, मैंने उनको देखा था एक idea independent digital agencies पे, so she had given a very good talk, that's why I recommended that we should have Sonia on. Yes, I mean. वो इन्विटेशन मिल जाता है तो बात कर लेते हैं और जो अपनी काबिलियत दिखा लेते हैं बट ओवर द टॉप कभी मैंने किया है बट आई रियल आई आई रियलाइज तो दैट इट इस सो इम्पोर्टेंट यू नो इट इस जस्ट सो इम्पोर्टेंट लाइक ही सेड लाइक ही सेड कि ओवर द टॉप किया और सब उसी से आते हैं हाँ आई मीन दैट्स व्हाट आई सेइंग � it truly like you know I mean when I started the business also I was like you know multi country independent agency sort of was my vision but बात ही नहीं कर रहे हैं we just don't speak about it and and that I think has started to change now that has started to change that's why I said okay it was invitation I I have a very high propensity to say no 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 but thank you I really appreciate it she flew down like five minutes like yeah yesterday I think I mentioned you on the thing I mean I said चलो no, no, I flew from Pune to you. No, no, I flew to Saudi. Okay, I was like, okay, that's privilege. No, but Pune flights are starting by the way. I know, I know they are. It's a much more efficient to take the flight. To take the flight? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Very efficient. Of course, the road is not bad, but you still save about an hour. Especially on the other side, maybe the flight. Yeah, if it's closer, yeah. Very good now, flight is 10 years. But that's also two hours, right? For the most part. So we're talking right. about branding, you know, for right. agency founders. I have a slightly yeah, yeah. different sure. perspective on sure. it. Uh, not a different perspective. I think uh, I'm a very shy, reclusive person. You don't Come see on. me. Seriously? Uh, yeah, you won't see me uh, in a lot of these kind of scenarios very often. If you see my personal brand, it's absolutely shit. Um, and uh, for a period of time, I did think it was almost essential to have a personal brand to uh, build a business. You but thought or you didn't? I did. I did think it is. And I think it's a great help. I think it's, you know, these guys do it fabulously and I think it's a great help to make it there. Uh, but just for the, you know, the people listening who might not be as open to doing it, I think there are enough and more examples of people who don't have great personal brands who also build fabulous sure. businesses, mm-hmm. right? There's Larry Elise, there's Sergey Brin and Larry Page, which we don't even see in the yeah. out there. Yeah. So for a while, I used to live with that pressure that, oh God, I have to do this. And then I just let it go that, boss, it's I okay. Know. It's not speaking to me as an individual. It's not who my personality is. Mm. Uh, so if you can do that and it's a good part of you and you enjoy doing it, I would mm. absolutely, you know, suggest that you should do it. But also for the people that might not enjoy it as much, don't think that that's the only way to get my business. But brand the company, 
it, you may choose not to Correct. brand yourself in the process. Yeah, and, and I always felt that people that, yeah. should know Kinect. Correct. Uh, it's not important to know one or not because there could be other people running it and I'm happy sure, sure. that the organization has a better name but more or less it's also my insecurities which I don't I'm not very happy being on social media so see Rowan takes few good mug shots he's a good looking guy yeah. so you know yeah. <laughs> it works well for him we should see your health and you know your fitness and that's a good one so yeah for me what happened was this uh I actually, once I went on the Ranveer show, it was like, I didn't know, expect that, you know, a random podcast with a dude who's just growing fast. When was this? It was uh, 2020, January we shot it. He re released it in March. And then I had my co-founder at Level Supermind, Ayush Anand. He wrote to me because he saw me on the podcast. Uh, so from a talent perspective, you know, and I never had people from IIT write to me ever. So it was a like a big thing because my Instagram was also a locked Instagram when I went on Ranveer's show. So actually when he released the podcast, I had kept my Instagram locked. I was not putting it out there. Then I got a lot of follow requests. I had to reject all. Then, uh, you know, this guy wrote to me and then I opened it up subsequently after a few weeks because I was like, okay, so many are coming because of the sheer magnitude of what's happening on that show. Uh, then Ayush wrote to me. And uh, because I never had somebody write to me from IIT, I was like, chill, you know, you come straight. So I called him to Bombay. He was from, uh, he was in Jamnagar at the time, studying in IIT Madras. He's the one who I met in your... Yeah, yeah. So he came down, we spoke, we started working uh, together. He joined as an intern, most expensive intern I've hired. Uh, and then we elevated him fast to co-founder because he was super sharp. So I think, yeah, like that's the advantage I think of... Uh, having something out there and maybe having something out there you want to actually find avenues and especially for people like you know a lot of I, I would consider myself was a was be introvert so I would not want to put in the effort to create a lot of content and for me the turning point was being on the Ranveer show because you don't want to put in that much like crazy like let me build and let me yeah. uh, put a lot of stuff out there but the moment that show went out uh, so you may want to find yourself a platform which is visible uh, where you work hard enough that your company is, you know, giving you the ticket to walk into a platform like that. And then you get visible and then the rest can, you know. What if it's a new agency founder and he just sits with a few people, maybe a prospective client or whatever, records an interview. <laughs> and instead of getting access to a big show, which is difficult for most people, he just puts a lack of appeal and does Facebook ads and, you know, targets his own audience. That could also, I think An Ankur Variku built his brand that way. You know, you were seeing through 2020 Ankur Variku's videos. Uh, on YouTube ads uh, after that such that he built a YouTube ad saying hey I'm that guy again you know so like I mean but he's also highly you know I respect him a lot in terms of how he's built the brand yeah. and with any uh, personal brand or any brand per se it's about what you can contribute to the user mm -hmm. rather than contribute and build about yourself so that's something that I usually struggle with which is uh, how do you build a personal brand just by contributing to people and not making it about yourself so that's what but I like it. You talk about, did you talk about your bike? That the fact that you bike in Bombay? No. But for me, that was. Can I talk about it? Right now? Yeah, if you like. Because I just thought that was so fascinating. I didn't think, you know, I don't know. Being from Delhi, you just think that Bombay is not a place. And he, when I went to his office, he's. It's like, been five years now. Every day of uh, riding a bike as a so commuting. You swim and then bike. You folded your bike with you. <laughs> yeah. 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 <laughs> that is not marketing yourself, but still marketing yourself in. Yeah. Bombay, yeah. Cool. I guess it's also like when you say brand, you know, there's element to brand, right? Brand is about uh, how you speak, how you think, what you, you know, what are the f physical manifestations of who you are. Uh, so once you've defined very clearly who you are, then you can put out very, very clearly what you want to say. And uh, yeah, like, I mean, I've just been doing this more content creation for the last nine to 10 months. Before that, I was not doing it because I wasn't very clear about who I was in the first place. Mm -hmm. So I took a, a lot of time to find out who I am, be comfortable with who I am, and then now I'm comfortable with putting stuff out there. I think that's a very fair point because I think finding your authentic self to actually go out and really be able to speak about it is the most challenging mm -hmm. part. Like, many, my Instagram is still locked, okay? And I think to myself, why do I to tell you? know, my, my fundamental question starts with, why is it important for somebody else to know mm -hmm. about this thing that I'm doing, right? And uh, and to that, really finding your core in a way that adds value to people, hmm. 
right? Why are you doing what to a certain doing? subset of people yeah, to the, who will find it way more valuable than others maybe. Like, say that again. To a certain subset of people yeah. who may find it way more, more valuable, valuable than sometimes we perceive. Like for when you talk about an agency world or whatever, uh, or to a prospective client who you're working with, and you have two prospective clients, and instead of that, your message goes mm-hmm. out to others yeah. who may or may not work with you, but they've got the value. Yeah. Uh, you know. yeah. See, also to the point Rohan made, now personal brand can also be built through reputation and back channels. Yeah. So, like if you look at Phil Knight's story, and you never. I mean, till we read Shoe Dog, nobody knows the depth of his story and what a brilliant story. The guy was so well networked with all the coaches. Uh, you know, the guy Sunny Vaccaro who's on uh, air, the film, uh, through him, he was connected to every NBA player. So every NBA player probably knew who Phil Knight is, but the whole world didn't. Right. So you can also, I mean, I think it's a good balance to build a personal brand to be visible, but also have a lot of power in the back channels, mm-hmm. especially, cool. you know, like in the kind of businesses that we run. Uh, Otherwise it's 80% vanity and 20% business. <laughs> yeah. Like Harsh's answer was too deep about this, that he, he had to understand who he was, for example. The thing is, I was effectively thrown into this, mm-hmm. right? Because... Mm-hmm. Uh, my co-founder was blogging every like quite regularly. He needed someone to be, um, you know, his friend on camera also. So I was just like, you know what? I'm just going to be myself. Like in my real self, I am always roasting Ranveer. <laughs> so I was like, I'm not going to change that for a camera and for his YouTube channel. But he probably has to look the hero. Mm-hmm. For example, so I was just like, I'm just going to be myself and do what I'm doing. Yeah. Yeah. That's what, uh, you know, that's how it happened. So I think people love that kind of relationship we had about yeah. the fact that, you know, he's talking about stuff and I'm talking about something else. For example. So uh, besides that on Twitter, also, um, like, I mean, I have, I'm quite opposite to him in many ways, but he is more about, uh, he's more like, you know, for the lack of a better analogy, he's more like, uh, I don't know if you guys watch football, but Zlatan Ibrahimovic, he, he wants to make a noise first and then do things. I, I don't like doing that. I, I will be like, you first build onto things and then if the noise has to come, it will come. Um, so that so that's the approach. So that's what I have also always implemented. I feel like besides that, just be yourself. Like for me, on Twitter, for example, it was a lot more about my observations. I think 80% of stuff was about what I find amusing or what I find funny in life and 20% was about the industry that I'm in. So I would barely speak about, uh, you know, content, and influencers, etc, etc. Uh, this 20% would get me the right audience, people like the right people would follow me on Twitter. But 80% was then massive, it was just people that yeah. thought, you know, my content was funny or amusing or interesting so I don't have advice for people on how to go about finding your voice because it's super authentic to each person but I think beyond the point it's also <coughs> the frequency of what you put out um, I just tweeted relentlessly and found my voice that way so no um, strategy no content is thing for yourself like this is what I'm going to do Monday afternoon to breakfast no I don't advice. schedule my tweets I don't put it at optimized timings ki nahi wo 12 baje tweet dalna hai 15 baje next tweet dalna hai etc etc like okay if I have a thought I will immediately put it out on the internet and uh, then try not to just keep evaluating what like yeah. what did well what didn't do well because you're not it's not like managing the social media account of a brand uh because then you you lose the fun out of it, you lose the authentic, authenticity out of it, then you're just tweeting about things that you feel people need to hear from you. So um, can I just sum it up by, you know, just trying to yeah. So you say, so on the organic side, do what you feel authentic. Yeah. And if you really want a message to go out there, maybe just use ads to promote that particular Yeah, thing. I mean, I've never used ads, I don't know how that works, but I have seen people who've used it and be super effective right. for them. <laughs> Um, I would say if you're using ad, my personal views, you're using ads, ad, use it for your company. I agree, which is yeah. I feel like for personal branding, ads to me seem a little scammy. Mm. But um, if you are like promoting your business, maybe at least through that, right. then that could help. 
Mm-hmm. But I still feel like yeah, if it's going through the company account, that makes a lot more sense because then you're trying to target a certain business mm-hmm. or through it. Right. No, but what I'm trying to and anybody will answer this. Say for example, you have your own company account or your personal account, and you say reach out to pharmaceutical companies, and so you have advice for pharmaceutical companies in the form of a reel every week going out. Mm-hmm. That's it. You're not asking for anything in return. And then when your company advertises for you know if it does or any agency advertises. Then they already know that this is coming from a valuable source which talks about pharmaceuticals, and now they're advertising to say that come and work with us. Does that work? It works. I my view on this is that see B two B is slightly different. I think because what happens is even if I say in thirty seconds in a reel, I will not be able to capture the depth what the pharma industry needs, mm-hmm. and when companies hire. other companies they are hiring for depth mm-hmm. so i don't know if you can win a big b2b mandate that way personal branding se like personal branding karne to online ads se nahi ho sakti usse aap just apna customer base bana sakte ho personal branding ke liye aajkal like bahut sare logon ne ek baat bhi hai aajkal ki aapka 30 to 50 lakh rupees ka budget ho podcast aajkal bahut sari aa chuki hain bahut sare interviews hote hain jo stock hai tedx se fir aap ऐसे ऐसे मतलब बहुत सारी वेज बन चुके हैं कभी आप और पर्सनल ब्रांडिंग लाइक जो एड्स रन करना है तो आप बी टू बी क्लाइंट है ही नहीं सोशल मीडिया इज ऑल अबाउट जो भी अपन इंस्टाग्राम में फेसबुक है इट्स डायरेक्टली कंज्यूमर सो अगर आप कुछ डायरेक्टली कंज्यूमर लाइक एक शार्क टैंक में कोई आए थे उनका कुछ हेयर का ब्रांड था तो उनका बहुत अच्छा चलेगा रील वो वहाँ से पर्सनल ब्रांड बना रहे तो हो जाएगा बट एज ए एजेंसी फाउंडर आप जस्ट अपना चीजें शो कर सकते हो कि लाइक मेरे साथ जो हुआ था पर्सनल ब्रांडिंग में बाई चांस हुआ था कि हम लोग एक सोशल मीडिया पिच कर रहे थे सोशल मीडिया में मैं एक क्लाइंट थे क्लाइंट सुनते नहीं है पहले तो जो रहते हैं कि उनको बताओ हुक करना है उनको वही उनको लग रहा है कि वही डांस करके ही रहेंगे तो हम उनको बता रहे हैं और वो तो उनने मुझे मीटिंग में बोल दिया कि आपके तो खुद छः सौ पचास या ऐसे कुछ फॉलोअर्स हैं तो मैंने कहा कि अपन को करना पड़ेगा पहले से तो मैंने तीन या चार रील बनाई थी उसमें मैं एट्टी फॉलोअर्स हो गए थे वो गेम को बस शो करने के लिए सो so, रील्स में भी बहुत कमी डालता हूँ कभी इवेंट हुआ या फिर वो हुआ तो बहुत फ्रीक्वेंसी कम है या फिर जब देख लेते हैं कभी कभार लगता है कि यार वो रेड हो रहा है यूज़ कम जा रहे हैं तो पर्सनल ब्रांडिंग करनी है तो एड्स कहीं से कहीं तक भी प्रिफर्ड नहीं रहेगा बहुत अलग लगता है क्योंकि आप दिखा रहे हैं बाई सबकॉन्शियस माइंड आजकल खैर पॉडकास्ट में भी लोगों को पता चल रहा है कि किस किस तरीके से हो रहा है अगर आपका बैक एंड बहुत अच्छा है अगर आप कुछ प्रोवाइड करने वाले हो आपका बैकएंड अच्छा है आपकी डिलीवरी अच्छी है देन आप डायरेक्टली पॉडकास्ट में जाइए बहुत सारी पॉडकास्ट वहाँ से पॉडकास्ट से अच्छा अभी तक पर्सनल ब्रांडिंग का कोई ऑप्शन नहीं परफेक्ट सो आई थिंक वी दिस हैव ऑलमोस्ट डन थैंक यू एवरीवन वन गाइस आई होप यू एंजॉय दिस वीडियो नाउ हियर आर द नेक्स्ट स्टेप इफ यू वॉन्ट बुक अ कॉल विद माई कंसल्टिंग टीम to be able to understand how we can help your business as a coach or an agency founder you're stuck you're not getting sales there's a link in the description click on the link and book a call with my team in that 30 minute call they'll understand what you need and accordingly give you the right resources and the right road map forward second if you think that you're looking for the avi area personal mentorship which i do very few of but i do keep my slots open then again click on the link in the description and speak to my team they will understand your business and accordingly if you and i are the right fit then connect you and i on a 30 minute call and i look forward to talking to you thank you very much for watching all my videos there're going to be a lots and lots of new videos coming up keep watching fill up the link in the description and i look forward to talking to you and having my team help you with your journey of entrepreneurship thanks a lot this is avi arya signing off for now